guys, so here it is, the Launchpad Pro Mark III, where all the people have been waiting for. And you might be a little bit confused because there was no Mark II. So there was a Mark I and they went straight to Mark III because now all the models out there by Innovation are Mark III. So also the Launchpad Pro is now Mark III. And I think it's the best Launchpad out so far. And it has improvements in many ways. It's much thinner than than the first version you see and it also feels more solid as you see there's also these nice touch sensitive pads which are also featured in the launchpad x before and also there are more buttons on there you have now dedicated buttons for selecting a track and i think that's the biggest improvement of the device because you do not have to go to the session mode all the time if you want to switch a track so i can now quickly switch here between the drum track and also here my spell track i had and the other bass track so a big speed up for the workflow and also the rearrangement of the buttons is a little bit different and you get more buttons more useful buttons here on the top and you have now finally a dedicated play button this is the button i always used for the play button because you you need a play button on such a device and now finally they understood that too and put here the play button so this is also a big improvement that you have now the right labeling here on the device and here's also a little bit arrangement that the cursor keys that were before all on the top and now we have here the left right and up down on the left and this is also a workflow improvement because it's easier to see which one to press if you want to go left right or up down here and what I did here with the modes, uh, you know, also in the other launch pads, we have nine different modes, three play modes, three drum sequencer modes, and three uh, note sequencer modes. And I split them up now with the normal one. You get a menu when you press note, but now with note, you can simply toggle through the three play modes. So we have the normal discrete play mode. You have here this piano style play mode, and you have the drum 64 pad grid where you can play 64 drum sounds with it the drum sequence are put on this core thing so you have here this normal drum sequencer where you have the sequence on the top you can select the drum sounds here on the bottom and you can select the length on the clip here in this lower corner and we have here the variation with the four four sounds and you can go up also to get more sounds and what i also changed here this is also now available for the push is that you see the colors of the drum device so if you go to the drum device here everything thing is blue maybe let's go here to that one so you see the different sounds they're all blue so but maybe let's color that here a bit let's say make the snare here red and make the hi-hat green and then you have here also uh, the different colors here you want to see for the different uh, channel type so it's also easier to spot where your hi-hat is and where your bass drum is and you go also to the eight uh, channel version so you see eight different sounds at once and there you also get now this new coloring and finally the sequences are on the sequencer button so here you get here the normal note sequencer you get the poly sequencer where you can play a chord on the bottom here and then program that chord here on the top and you also get this raindrop sequencer which i showed in the beginning of the bell sound where this note falls down and when it hits the bottom it makes a sound so very interesting to come up with some creative melodies you would not have played otherwise so this already shows most of the modes here on the top and the custom button here hides the user mode so here you can select any parameter you want to map for example you want to have here that sampler thing then you can simply map that and then control this button with it also here you see the velocity sensitivity is very nice on these pads you can really slide these pads and use it as you would use a normal fader so also you get these four different velocity steps you can change and yeah really nice here and it's really really good and the last one i didn't explain here is the projects tab this is also a new button and if you use it with shift you can simply store here your project so let's show you that so you go here and you get the save dialog if you have saved it before it simply saves it again so also a little speed up a workflow i thought what to do with project okay let's put all the panes in there and the different layouts so in the middle you can switch a layout so this is a normal layout here you can go to the mix layout 
layout and here to the edit layout so you can also now control this from the device and these are the different panes here you have so on the left you can hide here this inspector pane and then the right you can toggle here your browser pane and then the bottom you have here the different modes for the bottom so that one is here the note these are the automation the devices and finally here the mixer so this can now also be accessed from the device and here on top you can toggle here the audio engine off and on on takes a bit and here you can go to the previous project if you have loaded multiple projects then you can go here to the next project i just use two buttons they do the same here just to make it more in your face so you see here i go left if you're in a geek and then you can go here on activate and can be sure that you hit something here in the right spot and here you can zoom in your project but with the zoom it's a bit of problem the still is problem between that the key commands do not work all the time and these knobs use a key command so that, that they work you need to have the arranger active and then you can zoom here in and out and also can toggle here with these ones between the big and the small size of the tracks so these are the new function in this projects mode here so pretty handy what is also different here you have here some also double functionality on the buttons we've now have labels so it's a little bit easier to navigate so what you here have now is the record quantization so you can i did like you can toggle through it so you can say you want to have here 116 18 or turn record quantization off and also you see here that one is now also double is now also available so you can double the content of a clip so for example if we have let's bring up that one you can press that one so you can double simply here the content of the clip and it's now the double of the length this is also working i said that before you can select the track here and you can also use this button combination so with that one and that one you could delete you are, let's just here delete one so you can delete the track you can also undo that this is shift undo so let's do it like this you can also do it here with the duplicate so you can also duplicate the track so we have now two drum tracks and you have here the double functionality with the shift key undo redo you can toggle the metronome here you can tap your tempo so it's also pretty quickly available to tap tempo and here you saw that in the introduction tune i tried to improvise that you have now this really really nice it's tempo changer so it's in your face and here you can go down and up in a tempo and if you use that once you can go here in steps of 10th and you can also keep it pressed it changes then as well so it's pretty handy if you are in a live situation and want to adjust your tempo and here also there is a swing one so for shuffle you can add here the shuffle tempo this is the option you have here you need to have the groove enabled so then you can change here the shuffle tempo as well as you see here so this is now also accessible directly from the device these two new modes are also available on all other models i could not resist to put them in there as well so if you have older models go with shift into the shift mode and then use the cursor keys and this will then bring you either if you use up down you get to the tempo mode for the left right you get to the shuffle mode and you can change that as well and if you're in such a mode you can just press any tab and you are back to the previous mode yeah so as i said i think a big improvement over the previous versions and if you have it and use it uh, make some funky music